Hi boys and girls, today we're going to be drawing Pig the Pug from the awesome book Pig the Pug by Aaron Blaby. Let's get started. So you will need a blank piece of paper and a pen. We're going to start off with the eyes. So let's start by drawing a big circle on the left side of the piece of paper and another big circle. Make sure it's in line on the other side. Big, big circle. Try and make it join as neat as you can. So we're going to draw another big circle inside that circle for the eyeball. And do the same on the other one. Perfect. Now we're going to draw the little pupil. So another little circle inside a circle inside another circle. That's a lot of circles. And we're going to cover that in later. So now we're going to draw the sides of the mouth. So what you need to do is a curved line that almost touches or just touches the eye. And keep it coming across until the other eye and make sure it just touches and go down the page a bit and stop. Now we're going to draw the nose in the middle of both eyes. So we're going to draw a center line just to show where the nose ends. And now we're going to draw a little curve that comes up and across for the nostril. And do the same on the other side. Curves down, goes up and across. Perfect. Now we're going to draw a line down the center to get to his mouth. And we're going to draw his mouth, which is slanted a bit. So it's not a straight line across. It's a slanted line, then go down and curve around and up to join the side of his mouth. Just like that. And do the same on the other side. Make sure they're both the same length. Because Pig the Pug is quite symmetrical. Now we're going to draw eight whiskers on one side and eight whiskers on the other side. Dot, 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 dot. You can do as many whiskers as you like. Now Pig the Pug looks a bit grumpy, so we're going to do a little frown for his mouth. And now we're going to do a curved line that goes up, another curved line that doesn't go up, and a final curved line that does go up. That's his wrinkly mouth. So now, boys and girls, we're going to go and just have a look at the center line. And he's got a few bumps at the top of his head because he's got all those wrinkles from being so chubby. So in the middle, we're going to do a curve that goes to the left and a curve that goes to the right. Then make sure this curve comes down a bit and curves around to his eyeball. And the same on the other side for all those wrinkles. This looks like a grumpy old pig the pug. Now we're going to work on his big ears. His ears are almost as big as mine and stick out to the side. So we're going to curve, go all the way down, then do another line that comes from his eye and curves and has a little bit that sticks out because that part is the bit under his ear, which we're going to color in black later. Now go to his other side of his head to do his other ear. So we're going to curve around. And this one's a bit sharper. It has a pointy ear. Then we're going to do the same thing. A curved line, which we'll color in later in black. Now we need to do his side of his face. So from the side of Pig the Pug's eye, we're going to go down the page and curve into his mouth. Just like that. Then we can do the side of his body, which is a big curve, another big curve, and a final curved line. And you can even do a little crease to show how big he is. Too much food for you, Pig the Pug. 
Now we're going to do the other side for his face. This one doesn't touch his mouth. It's a curve. Another big curve with a crease. A curve and a final curve. And that is Pig the Pug. So let's colour him in. I've used brown, skin colour and red and some black to colour in Pig the Pug. 